With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. Hello students, let's solve the question. The question is, a capacitor of capacitance C, the capacitance is given, is charged by connecting it to a battery of EMF epsilon. The capacitor is now disconnected and reconnected to the battery with the polarity reversed. Calculate the heat developed in the connecting wires. So let's see with the hand diagram. So basically what the question is saying is, you see, the question is basically saying that there is a capacitor and this is connected to a battery. Suppose this is the battery and uh, the EMF of the battery is epsilon, right? Capacitor has a capacitance of C. Now suppose Q charge is coming out from here. So Q charge will be stored in the capacitor, isn't it? So now what will happen? This will get plus charge, this will get minus charge. And this Q charge that is stored here will be C into epsilon because Q is equal to CB and V is epsilon here. Right, so this positive plate will be charged with C and negative plate will be charged with negative sign that is minus C. Now according to question, what the question is saying is that now the question is saying that the battery has been removed now this battery has been removed and it has connect it has, the capacitor is the charged capacitor is connected with the same battery but with the polarity reversed isn't it now see what will happen now some charge will come out from here and this is epsilon only so what charge will now this will be the positive plate and this will be the negative plate so what will be the charge stored here you see it will be same ce only because q is equals to cv and in place of v here it is epsilon so the uh, so the charge means the charge stored in here will be C into epsilon and this one also C into epsilon. Now see earlier this plate, this plate was now which is negatively plate, this was earlier positively charged. Now it is negatively charged. So the total charge that is coming out from the battery here is equal to Q into C. Is the total charge should have come out like suppose just uh, think about this plate. This plate was initially negatively charged with CE charge, right? means the total charge was minus c now here the charge has become plus c it means what from this battery plus two is charge uh, should have been gone from here right so the total charge that was coming from here is 2c understood now just one minute now see what would, what would be the work done by the battery here work done by the battery is how much it's c uh, q into v right now in place of Q, I will write 2C epsilon into V is again epsilon. So the total charge done by the battery is 2C epsilon square here in this case, right? Now see earlier, the potential energy stored in the battery in the initial case. This was the initial case of the energy stored in the initial case is that the potential energy is stored initially. It is 1 by 2CV square, right? Now see. Neither the capacitor is changing, neither the potential difference between the bat, uh, means uh, neither the capacitor is changing in the initial case and the final case, nor the potential difference is changing. Like it is uh, epsilon here also and epsilon here also, right? That means potential energy is not changing in the capacitor. Means energy stored in the capacitor is not changing, but the work done by the battery is changing, right? So all over the work done that is being done here, it it might have gone somewhere. So where the char where the energy has been gone? It means whole energy has been gone to heat developed. Understood? So the heat developed here we can say the total the total work done by the battery has been developed as a heat energy. That is 2C epsilon square. So this is the correct answer. Hope you understand. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.